Hello, Cancer viewers. Going to look in and see what's going on with your person, what they're thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you, just whatever the cards want to say here. Toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. The last reading I did, I was also getting that you just showed up in this person's dreams and you revealed an very, a very important truth. Um, and, and your person's third eye is open. Like, they're not really in denial anymore. Like, they're... They, it seems like they just had some kind of, like, shocking revelation or they just had a dream about you and, and kind of, you know, it snapped them back to reality and made them reconnect with you and think about you again if they hadn't been thinking about you. Um, you know, this could be someone that you haven't talked to for a while for some of you. But you just real, revealed some really important truth in their dream and now they're they're finally listening to you. You might have told them someone around them is toxic. It could be something like that as well. We've got toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, make your move, green light, choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. So yeah, there's there's some kind of opening here, it looks like. We also have a passion and romance. Willpower, strength, and confidence. Loyalty, vows, and stability. Divine intervention, synchronicity. Confusion, uncertainty. Please clarify the toxicity red flag card. New love, faded encounter. Home, sense of belonging. Okay, that's interesting. Someone's safe space. Okay, so this is the same group of cancers that I always channel, but I'm getting that there's two different variations of this story. Um, so basically, you have new love coming in is what I'm feeling from this. But I get the sense that you also have an ex. I'm feeling two different energies here. So two different men or two different women that you have, um, you know, a, co a connection with here. And the one that's good is going to be trying to protect you from the one that's toxic is what I'm feeling. And this could be spiritually going on too. They, they could be protecting you in the higher, higher realms. It might not even be physically. It might just be like in the 5D um, their spirits are kind of almost battling over you in a sense, and they're trying to protect you and keep this person away from you. Um, cause this person might be trying to get through in your dreams and they might actually be doing witchcraft or they might just be toxic or, or like a karmic partner that's holding on. But I'm sensing two different variations of this story. So basically what I'm getting here is with this, this toxic red flags and emotives card, I'm getting that this is all one person. But there's there's new love, there's a faded encounter and that, that you know you feel at home with, that they're gonna feel at home with you. It's gonna be your safe space. Um, so some of you have this toxic ex that's trying to come back around, but you have this new love that's either just come in or they're coming in. You guys are already together in the 5D. You're picking up on this person's energy, maybe getting this feeling that you're about to meet someone new. And this person is protecting you from the toxic ex. For others, I feel like it could be the other way around where the ex is actually the, the good person, like the decent person that's coming back around making these promises to you and you have this new love that's about to come in, like instant attraction, but it's not completely trustworthy and the new love is the one that's toxic. So, so yeah, there's two different, you know, but I think you know, I think you know who is who. I think, I think that you're going to know when this comes in. So, so yeah, like I was saying, for some of you, the new love is toxic and the old person is actually the, the, you know, the true love, um, that you want to be with. That's kind of coming through in, in your dreams. Uh, there's a psychic connection here. They're trying to pull you back in, um, for others, the, um, the ex that's holding on to you is, is, you know, there's a psychic connection here, but it could be toxic. They could be trying to hold on to you and you could have a new love that's coming in, um, to, you know, kind of protect you from this, you know, your true love coming in that you're actually going to feel at home with. It's going to feel safe. It's going to feel different than it felt with this other person. So, so yeah, could be, could be either one, one of them, basically two people, 
um, getting two different men or two different women. One's toxic. One's a toxic karmic. One is a um, true love potential life partner. So, and again, I think you know which is which. If this is, if your ex is the toxic one, then you're probably about to meet the actual true love potential life partner. This could be, you could have been with the false twin flame and you might have the real twin flame coming in now. Um, or, you know, like I said, could be vice versa where this is your true love and you have someone new coming in to block. I feel like for most of you, the... Not all of you, but I think for most of you, the toxic one is probably the ex and the and the, the good person, the protective person is the new person. I do feel like there's like a war going on in the higher realms regarding this situation. It kind of feels like... It feels like someone is trying to come in. It feels like some, like some type of love is trying to manifest physically in your life. Like this is something you've been putting the intention into. But it feels like someone's been blocking it. Like someone else that's like jealous or possessive or they want you for themselves. Like they've been almost like a trickster spirit is what I get here. And it feels like they've been trying to block this new love from coming in. But I think that, I think there's like an opening here. I think the new love is going to come in unexpectedly, um, even though this other person's been trying to block them from coming in. I hope that's making sense. I do feel like there's an old person from your past that's, uh, it does feel like a very strong psychic connection, like I said. I do think that you showed up in their dreams to reveal some kind of important truth. Um, but if that's a karmic, you might have showed up to reveal, to end a karmic cycle. Like, you might have showed up in their dreams to, like, help them with something, help them get on to the next, you know, level of their journey um, so that your energy can be free and moved on from that, if that makes sense. Um, for others, because I'm trying to merge this with my last reading that I did where I was getting that you showed up in someone's dreams. There was a, a major truth revealed. Your person has their third eye open. So take it how it resonates, you know, because this is the general energy. And if you want me to look into your story, then I could give you more like specific details. But this is like a general energy group of the uh, the cancers that are drawn to this video, to these videos um, that I've been channeling over the months. So, you know, take it how it resonates. Each story might be like just a slight, same energy group, but slightly different. Um, slightly different stories, I mean, because there's, you know, several stories that I'm telling here. There's, I, the way I see energy groups, like energy readings like this is kind of like, um, like all these different spirits kind of telling their story through me. And it's like the same energy group. Like you guys are all in that same group, but it's, it's, there's different you know, I, I might get like the name Marcy or something, and that might be for one specific person watching this, like the spirit of someone's relative or something that's here. It's like there's, you know what I mean? Like all these spirits have different messages. So it's like the same group, but there's just different, slightly different details sometimes. I hope that makes sense. Probably not explaining that very well, but, um, but anyway, back to the reading. For some, I'm also wondering if for some of you it's possible that you actually showed up in the uh, the new person's dreams, maybe before even meeting them, and you're you let them know that you know the time is coming. That you're maybe maybe they saw a vision of what you looked like or what you look like. I mean, um, maybe you've kind of opened their third eye, like this connection. Like you guys both have the psychic awareness that you're about to meet each other. That's possible for some of you as well. But I'm basically just getting the energy that there's two people. One's a toxic karmic that it's time to move on from. And then there's also a new person or an old person. Like I said, could be either way, but just two people, you know, I think, you know, who's who I think, you know, which one is which, but, um, anyway, this, this love, someone's been blocked from coming into your life. Like someone else has been jealous and possessive of you. And I think those cords, whoever that is, I think that those cords need to be cut because it feels like they've kind of blocked you from having love. Um, to some degree, it feels like they're, yeah, it just feels like a possessive kind of energy is what I'm getting from that. Getting that someone's making a move towards you. Um, they're, they're choosing their words wisely, planning their approach, wanting to come in with this passion, romance, sweeping you off your feet. They're trying to summon the willpower, the strength, the confidence to do so. They're making promises, uh, loyalty, stability, vows. 
It almost feels like your spirit guides are trying to warn you about someone, though, like through synchronicity, divine intervention, because it's almost like I feel you like getting confused here. Like you feel this person's energy, but then you feel something like like them pull away or you feel like the energy of someone new. You might be channeling two different people and getting confused because like you're feeling the toxic energy, but then you're also feeling this very like loving, pure energy, too. And you, you might be mistaking that loving, pure energy for the toxic karmic. I hope that makes sense. So you might be channeling two different people and thinking that they're the same person. And that's why you're kind of getting confused here because you're like, like, I know this person's thinking about me. I know they're missing me. I know. But then you're like, that doesn't match up. Like how they are physically doesn't match up with this energy I'm feeling. Well, it's because you're feeling someone else's energy. I feel like someone here is a trickster. Someone here knows about, like, they're, I mean, it feels like they're psychic, but it feels like they're, I don't know if they're consciously doing it or not. It almost seems like someone's, like, meditating and trying to, like, confuse you. It almost, or, like, doing, like, love spells on you or something. It just kind of, I, I get, like, a trickster energy where it's, like, there's this, there's someone that's your true love that's a potential life partner that's trying to come in. And then there's another energy that I'm feeling that's trying to block, that's been trying to block that person from coming in. And it almost seems like there's some like trickery going on in like the 5D, like, you know, astrally, telepathically, where it's like they try to confuse you into thinking this pure loving energy you're picking up from this, this true love that's coming in. They're trying to confuse you into making you think it's coming from them when it's not. Almost like your true love is like you and your true love are telepathically communicating. Whoever that is, you guys are like together in the 5D. You're telepathic. You know, you might be having dreams about them, you know, telepathically communicating, feeling like they're close, like you're about to meet someone, like you you can't see yourself being single past the end of the year. Like you just kind of know, like you have this like deep knowing that it's it's time for love. And then maybe they like telepathically, you know, send you healing or like your heart chakra just randomly opens like you're just feeling this you're starting to feel this energy I'm, I'm using what I'm getting here and then it's like seems like this toxic person comes in and it's like that's me like and it's like no it's not like this is someone else like they come in they're trying to make you feel like that energy is coming from them if that makes sense or maybe your mind is playing tricks on you and maybe your mind is making you think that it's the toxic ex that you're picking up on I hope that makes sense. I know I know. sometimes when we get into readings like this, it can get kind of confusing when there's a lot going on in the higher realms. Um, but it's like maybe maybe because you don't have a face for it, you're just putting your ex's face on it, if that makes sense. It's like you're channeling this like new person, this love, and you're feeling all this good energy. And then you're like, oh, it's my ex thinking about me. Because like that, you know what I mean? Like maybe you've been holding on to your ex. And so that's just kind of like when you feel that energy, you just, you know, you kind of put your ex's face on it you're like okay that's probably my ex because like you you don't have a face for this new person if you haven't physically met them yet I hope that makes sense but basically there's just one person you can trust and one person you cannot trust and I think that it's going to become more clear I think most of you know who you can't trust or you're going to in the near future you're going to know like you're it's going to fall into place and you're going to kind of understand what's going on this person seems very like look how look how they're like look look how he's got like like claiming her almost like protective of her or him. Like they're protective of each other. It looks like you know kind of like a power couple there. That's that that true love that's coming in. It's a very very independent, very confident relationship that's coming in for you. Fast moving energy chaos. Show me the X. Show me the X. Like I said, some of you, the ex is the good person and the new person is the toxic one that's coming, that's come in and they're like, you know what I mean? Like there's something untrustworthy, but I think, I think for most of you, it's probably the ex that's not the good person is what I'm guessing. Show me the ex though. Show me the ex. Show me the ex. A risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So they do seem determined to win you back. They do seem, like the ex does seem determined to come back in. There's a fear of rejection there as well. I think they messed up and they know they messed up. So they're like kind of 
Yeah, they're not sure if the feelings are still mutual. Yeah, so there's some hesitation because they just don't know where you're at. Um, they feel like you might have ended this pattern or like had like a breakthrough, like you've leveled up and they feel like they don't have access to your energy the way that you they used to. Show me the new love. What's going on with the new love? Spying. So some of you, this person is already... This person could be... So we got isolation, emptiness, loneliness. This, this person could be someone that feels alone around most people. They're kind of a deep, deep old soul. You know, someone that just doesn't connect with people easily. Um, or someone that doesn't connect with the average person. Like, they really... They, they're, just, they're not satisfied with, with average relationships. But they see something different in you. For those of you... Some of you haven't met them yet. Some of them... They're on your social media and they're just kind of watching you like they they're they're noticing your posts like or your pictures or whatever. They're noticing things you say. They're noticing that you're different than most people like you're standing out to them like they set you apart. Um, so some of them are watching you and they they're they're just kind of a loner type kind of like an old soul type is what I'm getting. Coles guarded. Just, yeah, they're kind of distrusting with most people kind of like independent focused on their. Finances, career, truth and clarity. What's this truth that's coming out? Betrayal, jealousy, conflict, pause, reflection, rest. Yeah, there's some kind of like betrayal that was revealed, but it, hmm. It kind of feels like this person's telepathically or and or consciously protecting you from someone else. Like, there's, there's two people fighting over you. I just don't know if they're fighting physically over you or they're fighting in the higher realms, like, telepathically over you. Because there's, there's a karmic that's trying to keep out your true love is basically, yeah, what I'm getting. True love, potential life partner. One of these persons is a karmic lesson that needs to be wrapped up. End of a pattern, cycle, breakthrough. And you might have thought this person was your twin flame at one point, but then it turned toxic. The, the, the karmic, that is. You might have felt like they were your twin flame, but maybe they just kind of... It seems like they know about the psychic world. It does seem like they're into that stuff. Like, they know about that stuff. Like, meditation, at least. But it seems like they use it... Or, like, they maybe they know about, like, psychology or gaslighting. But it seems like they use it in toxic, toxic ways. It doesn't seem like they use it for positive. It kind of seems like they use it to, like manipulate people like someone that will like meditate and like try to send you a thought but like they try to like I'm not sure why I'm getting the name Eric I'm getting the name Eric for someone hmm but I almost I, I was getting that name and I was thinking like someone like sending you a thought like I love Eric. I love Eric. I love Eric. Like they're, they're meditating and like trying to get you to like put that thought in your head, like over and over obsessively, like that kind of energy. And this is, again, this might've been someone that you had such a strong psychic connection with that you might've felt at one point, like it was your true love, but then you realized how manipulative and controlling they are and how negative they are and how they, they're on a power trip and they just kind of use their powers and their abilities to their advantage but in toxic ways and so it's like you're ending this pattern and they don't want you to end the pattern and so some of them are meditating on you trying to drag you back in um it feels like this new person though is healthy it seems like they're stable and it feels like they're very protective of you and it feels like they're this is the new person is the potential. Well, I mean, again, again, it could be either person. I don't. It's I don't know. There's one karmic ex that's toxic, or there's one karmic person that's toxic, and one person that's that's good and healthy and loving. So, but I think you guys know who's who. Like, I think this is all gonna fall into place, and you're gonna know who's who. And if this is your reading, and you want a private reading, and you want me to go more in depth into this, just send me an email. My um. My email address is right below this video in the description box. The email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And um, any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. And my PayPal and Cash App is below as well. So thank you guys for that. Dreams, visions, telepathy. Yeah, there's a lot going on in the higher realms. 
open, honest communication. Some of these, some of, some of you are going to meet this new love like unexpectedly somewhere, but some of them are already like aware of you. Like they're like on like TikTok or Facebook or Instagram or whatever. And they're like watching, watching you. And they're, they're basically for those of you that are like being watched by this person on social media, I just get that they're like realizing that you're, you're different. You're unique. You, you have an old soul too. Like they're feeling kind of like a past life connection. Yeah. Like reconciliation. Like it's, it's like you know, like they want that connection with you. Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging. Yeah, they might be kind of trapping themselves. We'll see. I think that also, I feel like the toxic karmic's also been creating these issues and trapping them. Are they getting past, what's going on? Are they going to get past the toxic karmic now and just break through that energy and come forward? Happiness, warmth, light. Yeah, I feel like they, I feel like they are, um... They might have been going through some dark times, but they feel like you're their happiness, their warmth, their light. So they're, I feel, I feel like you're, if you're sending them like healing energy or putting like doing like love drawing rituals to bring them in, I feel like those things are working. Just protect yourself, just shield yourself and shield this person. You can just visualize, you don't even have to do magic. I mean, you can just, you can visualize a bubble, like a bubble of light, like a protective bubble around you and this, this true love of yours, you know? Yeah, someone's trying to work up the courage to come forward, it seems like. Publicity, social media, for those of you that are being watched, like, they feel like you're, like, an angel to them. Like, you just feel like you're very, like, they like your posts a lot. Like, they're resonating with what you're, for those of you that are being, you know, like I said, this new love could be someone you meet somewhere, but it could also, for some of you, it's someone on your social media. And if it is someone on your social media, I'm getting that, like, they're, like your posts just feel like 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 warmth to them. Like they just like you post things that are like different than what most people post. Something about them like they feel alone around most people, but they don't feel alone around you. Like they connect with what you're posting or what you're saying or just your energy. Like they see like this light about you, like this empathy that really makes them feel like they're not alone when they like look at your pictures. So they're wanting to come forward and talk. Um, yeah, anyway, like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box. Just copy and paste it. Um, any donations are appreciated. And please resonate if, or please, oh my gosh, please subscribe if it resonates. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.